You get to the countdown. Right? The countdown round is an unofficial part of the competition. It doesn't determine who gets to, who gets to move on or uh, their placement, and they're random, so don't don't make any any uh, uh, observations as to who might have come out first. Or last. Uh, so, uh, Mark, do you want to uh, read the rules of the competition? I'll, I'll read the rules and I'll go through. So, uh, again, uh, thanks. Thank you all for coming. My name is Mark Goldberg. I'm with uh, the Connecticut Society of Professional Engineers. And um, uh, this is probably the most exciting part of the day because we get to see students participating uh, live and up close. And uh, the students participating today are the top eight students that are here to, uh, that uh, perform the best on the written exam. Before we introduce the eight, uh, math is competing today in today's round. I'd like to remind all students, coaches, and guests that the questions and answers from this round should be treated as confidential until after February 28th. Competitions using these same questions are scheduled elsewhere in Connecticut and other parts of the nation during the month of February. So without further ado, and these are in no particular order, these are randomized on purpose. Uh, Howard Bing. Is he here? Yeah. All right, second row, please. Uh, Helena Neen Olson, and I apologize if I. Prestique Monharaj. for this round. I will read a question to you as it is being projected on the screen. Scratch paper and pencils are provided if you wish to use them to calculate your answer to the problem. Students may use their lucky pencil, but they may not use their lucky scratch paper. <laughs> yeah, that's a new one. I, that was in past. Calculators are not permitted during this round. You'll have a maximum of 45 seconds to solve the problem after it appears on the screen. You will be given a 10 second warning before time expires. As soon as you have solved the problem, press the buzzer. I will call on the first person who buzzes in. Do not announce your answer until I have called on you. Each time you, answer, each time you wish to answer, you must use your buzzer, although you may not answer more than once for any question. If you do not buzz in before you announce your answer, your answer will be disqualified. If you announce your answer after buzzing in, but before I call you, your answer will be accepted, but I ask that you please wait until you hear your name so that there is no confusion. If a contestant buzzes in, I will stop reading the remainder of the question and I will call for an answer. 